welcome to Community Studios. Today we're going to be working on scratch holograms and I'm going to show you how to use these supplies to make a hologram that appears when you hold it up to the light. Here's what you'll need to make your scratch holograms. We've got designs, we've got tape, we've got a compass, and we've got two pieces of plexiglass. On the compass we took the lead out of one end and we replaced it with a piece of dull wire. On this Christmas tree we're going to use a pen to draw dots all along the edge and each dot is going to receive an arc on our new plexiglass. And we've cut out that Christmas tree and we've taped it to a piece of plexiglass. And we've got this design taped to the table. We've taken our second piece of plexiglass and we've fastened it right above it. And we've, we've taped it down so that it won't slide. After we've fastened it down, we're going to start scratching arcs. To scratch those arcs, we're going to use our compass. The sharp end is going to be touching those dots that are drawn onto the edge of the Christmas tree, kind of like a constellation. Uh, we're going to touch the sharp end to that very first dot on the top of our tree, and we're going to scratch an arc. What you'll do is you'll touch the sharp end to the dot, and then you'll scratch an arc on the plexiglass. Then you'll move to the next dot, scratch another arc, move to the next dot and scratch another arc, until you've gone all the way around the whole design. When you're done going around the whole drawing, you'll have a series of arcs that don't look like a picture. To see your hologram, we've got to take it outside into the sun. We've taken our project outside, and you may have to move yours around so that your scratch hologram is visible. The way we've got ours pointed, the point of the tree is pointing right at the sun. And you may have to move it or adjust it, but once you find it, you can move it back and forth. Another strategy is laying it on the ground and moving around the piece of plexiglass. If you're still having trouble seeing it, the next strategy that I like to try is going out to the sun and facing the sun and slowly tilting the plexiglass towards the sun. Now if you can get to where you see the reflection of the sun in the plexiglass, you've gone too far. Bring it back. Here's four that we've done, and they're from left to right. We've got a snowman, a train, we've also got a cube, and then a dove. The dove was too small. Next time I do it, I'm going to make it larger so that it shows up more clear. But you may be able to see that as you move your point of view back and forth, they seem to move within the glass. That should give you the information that you need to start working on your own scratch holograms. Just remember as you work that lighter scratches are better than heavy scratches. If you hear any squeaking or if you have pencil shavings coming off of your plexiglass, go lighter. Also, the more scratches that you do, the better your image will come out. So good luck making your scratch holograms.